Friday, TGIF, everybody starts thinking about what to do for the weekend. We around here, and of course our loyal followers to the Night Sky pr uh, segment of the program here, can't wait for Fridays because we get to see what's coming up this weekend in the night sky with Andrew Fizikas, who incidentally is joining us live on the line from Montreal. Good morning, Andrew. Well, good morning, Chris. Hey, you know what? I haven't said it yet. Happy New Year. <laughs> yeah, Happy New Year to you, it's too. It's about time. I, they keep bumping me from talking to you for, I don't know, maybe it's because you and I have a tendency to chat. I don't know. <laughs> hey, I tell you what, we're talking about, uh, you know, New Year's, you put on a resolution to, you know, to lose weight and tighten your belt. And then, of course, after Christmas spending, you tighten the proverbial belt. We're talking about Orion's belt to lead things off. That's right. You get to watch him uh, sort of pull up his belt Exactly. Here because uh, Orion is, is, is the most favorite, con one of the easiest favorite constellations you can see in the winter skies. And, you know, even though it's so crazy cold outside, you can look out your window, and if you have it dark enough around you, you could probably make out these three stars that form the belt of Orion constellation, and it's the most easiest part to see. Now, we've got here our chart set up, looking to the southeast, or s generally in the southerly direction, around mid-January, and this is in the mid-evening, around, say, between 7 and 8 o'clock at night, local time. And you can see three stars that are in a perfect line, um, almost vertically in the sky. That is uh, the belt of Orion the Hunter. And uh, they are really powerful stars. Um, they are o about 800 to 1400 light years away. And what's really in interesting is the star on the left hand side of this belt, uh, through large telescopes, even backyard telescopes that take pictures, has uh, there's a beautiful nebula that's, uh, that's there. It's called the Horsehead Nebula. And uh, if you look at pictures, oh, it is, yeah. it's very famous. Uh -huh. uh, if you look closely, the dark object in the center is a cloud that just happens to form the head of a horse. And it's about 1,600 light years away from us. And it's just a beautiful, one of the classic sights uh, in, in, uh, in the heavens. Something that we like to tie over the segment between our what we can see in the night sky and the big news coming up in Space News is, of course, the Cosmic Quiz. Hit us with it one time right now. Right. Well, sticking with Orion, according to Greek legend, what killed Orion? Could it be A, Draco the dragon, B, Scorpius the scorpion, or how about Cetus, C, the sea monster? You've got to remember your Greek legends here on this one. I'm a bit rusty. We haven't had an opportunity to go through this since last year, so give me a moment <laughs> on this. I'm, I'm going to be paying attention, I swear, because I really want to hear what's coming up in Space News, but I'm going to go over my Greek l myths right now. What is coming up in Space News? Well, breaking news as of yesterday afternoon, and this made big he headlines, it looks like the planet Mars is not that dead after all. A team of NASA scientists have achieved the first detection of methane in the atmosphere of Mars. This, this, this discovery is really important because it indicates that the planet is either geologically or maybe even possibly biologically active. Extremely exciting life wow. on another planet we're talking about. And the team basically found methane in the Martian atmosphere. Um, and they, they used telescopes here on Earth, the infrared telescopes, to, to identify them. Now, the, there's a strong possibility this could be uh, due to life. Some kind of their thinking, the uh, scenario is uh, microbes underground, that uh, as they live, they munch on the surrounding material and produce methane gas, which uh, is vented out through special underground vents, and that's mm. what we can see. So we're going to have to send a, a, a rover down there probably to check this out in the future. A rover. We're never going to find anything until we send men to Mars. Men with picks and axes that we can send back some messages from. That would be exciting. I'd like to see you on that mission. But before you go, not just to Mars, but before you go back to uh, what you were doing for the rest of today, let's answer that cosmic quiz. Well, the answer, what killed Orion? The answer is B, Scorpius the Scorpion. I would never have picked that out. I swear I would never have picked that out. Thank you so much, Andrew. Once again, great news. We're gonna, I want, when we speak this time next week, I want more updates on what's happening on Mars. You promise? You bet. Please do. Andrew Fazik is joining us. If you'd like to find out more about what's happening on Mars, more Cosmic Quiz fun and all good things to do with the night sky, www.thenightskyguy.com. That's the site to go to. Stay